abuse. Okay. Uh, good afternoon. So, you're fat, you're ugly, you're nothing, you're worthless, See, you're crazy. It's not that bad. You're making this up in your mind. I'm not cheating. You're insecure. These are all things that survivors that we work with have heard wow. and that we cause emotional abuse. These are the scars that we don't see. Um, and with the women and men that we work with, they constitute emotional abuse to be far more worse than the physical. Because the physical bumps and bruises and broken bones mend and heal. But the emotional abuse is hard to undo. Someone tearing you down day after day, weekend after weekend, year after year. All right, so to be here on today. Um, I think that the answer to that question is yes. Um, I believe that um, upon reading the question, I analyze a whole lot. <laughs> and so I went question. back and forth with this only because I try to look at everybody's different viewpoints. I learned that from Lady Sonia. Um, <laughs> I try to look at everybody's different viewpoints. And um, I believe that as a church, I mean, you guys, that we are the church, for right. one. It's not, it's not um, dedicated to a building or four walls. We are the church when we go out. So I believe that, uh, yes. We should, whether you believe what I believe, if you're in a domestic violent relationship, if you are in any kind of harm, uh, I believe that it is our responsibility. All right, so is there a danger in praying in an abusive situation? That's an example of my life. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. Good, good. Um, first, I want to say thank you for having me, ladies. Thank you. And it's, it's an honor to sit at the table with um, strong women that have survived the aspects of life. Um, I was in a mental and abusive, physical abusive relationship um, for years. I was in a tragic um, and I Heart. fell asleep and I had a tractor trailer. Um, I've had over 30 surgeries from that and they stated that I would never walk or use my hands again in my life. Um, they said that I would be pretty much of a vegetable and mm -hmm. to be dead a hundred times and told my parents that they didn't think that I was going to make it. Um, with all that being said, um, I made it because God is good. Amen. And, yeah, I made it with a lot of determination. I was 19 years old. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to talk about this. Um, certainly, domestic violence affects spirituality. It crushes it. Um, certainly, God created us to be um, his man. Um, when we allow ourselves to be in situations that are not God honoring, then um, we certainly allow the enemy to take a foothold in our lives, and which comes against our purpose and our destiny. And our certainly, lives. yes. So domestic violence does um, can affect your spirituality. Um, oftentimes, when you read in the scriptures. God um, says that we're more valuable than the sparrow. Right. We're more valuable than anything. And I think it's um, religion and uh, so many things that tries to put women, and I'm just going to talk about women, in places where they're not honored, they're not adored, they're not um, seen. Um, I would say it affects, a, it affects a person's faith because no one likes for bad things to happen. And a lot of times, you know, when things are going good in life, we, you know, we can walk around with you know, us, we can walk around um, with our spirits up and, you know, very easily. But when things bad happen, um, it tends to bring down your countenance and it brings down um, your self-esteem, particularly speaking about domestic violence, it brings you down. And so sometimes you start to question God as to why, you know, I know. I, I still talk to God in that way. Sometimes when things happen, like, I know that. So everything that happens is for a reason. But sometimes I still want to know. I'm just that person, like, why? And so sometimes I feel like when we can't understand the why, um, our spirituality. Choose who you're.
you're friends with. So if you chose that person to be your friend, then you kind of know how to talk to that person. So I could be talking to you and I could say, you know, well, exactly how does that make you feel at that moment? You know, instead of saying, girl, you better not go back because I'm telling you now. Because then it's going to feel like, oh, you're judging me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't talk to you anymore. You know, so... Um, you know, that's, those are the things a lot of people don't realize that they're being abused because these abusers are so manipulative and they trick you and they make you feel like I'm not even doing nothing wrong. It's you. Wrong. You keep this. <laughs> my food ain't even ready when I get here. That ain't even my responsibility. Like, didn't you pass McDonald's before you got home? You know, but they, but in, at that moment, your mind isn't even there. So, but, they, but in, at that moment, your mind isn't even there. So, I just want to piggyback off of that to be careful on how you respond to a person and how you um, give your feedback. And it's nothing wrong with giving your feedback. A lot of people thing, uh, that are being abused don't know how to pray. They don't even know how to hear God's answer. You have to be equipped and you have to be at a certain state in your mind to hear God even talk to you when you're, you know, because I talk to him all the time. I'm like, okay, God, but you made me like this. So what do you want me to do? You know, and I'm, I'm like, I get quiet and I have my quiet moment because I'm listening. But a lot of people that are being abused, wow. they don't Listen. know. They don't know how to hear it. They're lost. They're stuck. So, you know, those type of things. So pray for them. God, please give my friend a, a way of hearing you. God, please give them an answer. God, I need you to go in that child. I didn't need to tell you. are already abusing your child. And they're hearing it. So abuse takes place in so many forms. And uh, physical abuse is, of course, what we've talked about a lot. But then I want to talk Self about abuse. Because a lot of times we abuse ourselves. And it's because of what has happened to us. Right, right. And a lot of times we're trying to figure out how can we get rid of this. So this is not something you just buy it up and so okay, I don't want to have anymore because it stays <coughs> with you. Because why? Because it's a spiritual thing. Right. It's a spiritual thing that's attached itself to you. So you need a spiritual person, God, who can relieve mm -hmm. things from this. We think, well, counseling is good. You need it. Yeah. And uh, Young said, you need spiritual leaders. But when it's all said and done, you're the one. <laughs> you, yourself. Is the you have one. to have a relationship with Christ. <laughs> that is the thing that you need. Amen. You have to have a relationship and then you have to know, like the woman, like she said, you have to know about spiritual warfare. You have to know that if there is a God that's trying to save you, there's the devil that is trying to take you to hell. Right, 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 right. So you have to learn to fight. Yes, you have to do things in the natural. You have to gird up, you have to be counseled, you have to be listen to people because everybody's not strong. Right, right. But I was already a strong person. Strong person. I was, but even you being strong in yourself is not enough. Because no. he will come and he will beat you down right. to yourself. Right. So if you don't feel good about yourself, you're going to go with the guy. I mean, you, he's going to do whatever. Because you already don't feel like, you, you feel like you deserve it. You don't deserve that. That's a lie. The, the spirit of deception creeps in, so you believe everything you hear. Now, okay, so because I'm gonna say, you just repeat after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, Jesus today, today, I renounce, I renounce internal vows, internal vows, and defenses, and defenses, mechanisms, mechanisms. mechanisms. I, have, I, have, I have created to protect myself, to protect myself from getting hurt, from getting hurt. I repent, I repent, and ask you, and ask you to forgive me, to forgive me for sins, for sins I have committed, I have committed against, against you. With all my heart, with all my heart, I declare, I declare, I decree, I decree, and I ask, and I ask you to forgive me. You to forgive me. I ask the people, I ask the people that, that I have offended, offended to forgive me. To forgive me. I I ask the people, I ask the people. No, no, let me put it this way. Um, the people who have hurt me, the people who have hurt me. And I, I forgive them. The people who have hurt me. The people who have hurt me. And I, I forgive them. I forgive them. I, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. For not behaving. For not behaving. Properly. And for properly. the bitterness. 
for the bitterness I felt. I felt. Help me, Help me to feel, to feel your, presence your presence once again. Once again. And so and be sensitive and be sensitive to, to the, the needs of others. Of others. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Today. Today. I open my heart. I open my heart. And my eyes. And my eyes. Without reservation. Without reservation. And I receive. And I receive your love and decide. And decide to walk. To walk in your love, in your love, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So we we want to we want.